Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and in this video, I'm gonna finally play this game, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. I'm very curious to play this game, as I am very big fan of the Danganronpa series. When I found out that this game is actually made by the same director from those games, and not only that is, but from the same company, Spike Chunsoft, I'm very, very curious to play this one. So let's see, I never played this before, so that's gonna be pretty much my first reaction to it. Uh, let's first head into options, and wow, what's with this song? Um, so we can choose between English and Japanese here. Um, I'm not sure, should I go with Japanese or English? I think most people will prefer Japanese, but I honestly pre prefer English because I can just listen to it without having to read everything. Uh, skip text, no, normal, okay. The game is kind of loud right now, but fortunately I, th I have separated the audio from the desktop uh, from my microphone, so that's fine. So let's start that. And my microphone is actually just in front of me, so, so it's cutting like half of half of the like lower part of the screen. Um, creating save data, please select the save slot. What the heck? This is the save slot? Okay, let's save it here. So probably I'll be like constantly doing this because I'm trying to read <laughs> the dialogue. <laughs> this game is fiction. All names. Car Wait, there are two modes of play, novel and adventure, you can switch on it. Uh, it's so fast, what the heck? Okay. Man, it's so cool that the background is like... I love this. So... Okay, so... This is a ship. Looks like Titanic a little bit. Like, I know the basic stuff from the game because I read them Steam page. 3, 2, 1, 0. So we started the countdown at 9 because, you know, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, you know, so yeah, yeah, it makes sense, right? Uh, okay, what's going on? Menu, wait, 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 let me understand. Okay, so menu is the share button. And we have flow save. Okay, so I can just randomly save the game whenever I want. I can also switch to novel, although I cannot switch it right now. So, a loud noise started jump awake and his eyes snapped what? open. What the? I don't have to read that because, yeah. As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't. Ow. Let me read the freaking text, man. It's so fast. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw his hands to steady himself, but he found out he's groping at empty air. Whoa! I probably just clicked accidentally back then because it does not ex like it doesn't skip automatically. His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind, struggling to understand what's going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah! What the hell? Man, if this game is at least like 20% as good as the Danganronpa games are to me, I'm sold. Like, absolute game, you know? I'm so hyped to play this, oh my god. I fell pretty far. Yeah, man. really hurt. You fell literally from the third floor of the bed. Not the floor. My eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. Man, it's a good thing that I put in English because, like, the microphone is literally impeding me from seeing the text. <laughs> like, like, the middle but part. It, it's shaking too fast for that. Okay, uh, so there's anyway. a lot of shaking. Alright. Oh, man. I Where? saw the little details. We're already gonna have a puzzle here. Am I? Okay. Wait, it So there's it a picture stopped. of the boat, there's also a pattern there. Uh, hello? What's that sound? Yeah, what's that sound? What's that sound? I'm just constantly looking at That's... OBS to see if it's actually recording. Uh, five? Five? What's this five mean? Okay, so there's a number five on the door. 
I'm gonna go I'll full open. detective mode, okay? What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Yeah, it looks like a card reader or some sort. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! I think the door is too thick for you to be screaming like that, man. <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A Ooh. watch? I've seen the screenshot like on the Steam page. I'm very curious to know what the watch is for. Five. That's, Five. that's the same as the door. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even connect with that. What? How, okay, how do I take this off? I think now it lets me switch to the adventure mode. So what is that? So we have novel screen and adventure mode. So f it seems like, like the adventure thing puts the text overlaid on the image and the novel makes it look more like a visual novel. I think honestly I prefer it to be more like a visual novel. Maybe pushing something on this will work? Yeah, it's gonna explode. Nothing. Damn, guess I'll have to force it off. Imagine if he just presses the watch and it freaking explodes, like, and the game just ends here. No good. It's not this a countdown. Stupid thing though. won't come off. It's just like maybe the what ID the hell or is something. the deal like with that. this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? What the hell? Ah, ah, my head. Oh, it seems a lot huh. of stuff happened. This is a boat. Hold on, uh, not a boat. I mean a ship. Am I on a ship? <laughs> yeah, a <sighs> boat is kind of anything. an understatement. <laughs> if only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Oh crap! It's gonna crack what open. The... Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me! What? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come oh on, God. if you're there, say something! Wow, what a banger of a song. Man, this... I, I, I don't know the name of this director, but like, every game he does has like, crazy techno music for some reason. It's It, it actually sounds really cool. It's, I'm already vibing to this. Stopping. It's 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 top notch. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Yeah, not good. Way man. Out. It's yes. literally filling the floor with water. <laughs> Seek a way out. If I recall correctly, this game was originally from the DS. So I think they tried like the adventure thing and the visual novel thing was basically to adapt cuz here you don't have two screens, right? Uh, th what the hell? Okay, so let's go back. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal is search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints on the room that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select a location to find you find suspicious to search the room. Use L L1 or R1 to walk around the room. I have to get a stand for this microphone. Like, I, it, it's just not good like this. Left stick controls. Move the left stick during an escape to move the cursor. Uh, press square to speed up the movement. Press X to search where the cursor is placed. Okay, so... Oh, it's just like Danganronpa. It's literally like Danganronpa, man. I love this already. Damn. Uh, so it, does, it doesn't, like... I thought it was gonna, like, show me... Just like in Danganronpa when you're like... Wait... Oh crap, this is recording in 30 FPS, man. Whatever, this this, this first video is gonna be in 30 FPS, doesn't matter. Um, I have to remember to change it to 60 FPS later on the next videos, but for now I think it's fine. I thought that it was gonna be like Danganronpa, where when you hover over something, it like the cursor changes but i think this is more puzzle related uh, like a more puzzle game puzzly game so i think it's more about having to search and find for stuff about items once you've obtained an item you will be able to go to the item screen pressing uh, triangle will take you to the item screen Ooh, wow 
Wait, the model actually looks fine though. Wait, <laughs> it's so difficult to put it upside. Ah, oh, note from bulletin board. The notes got like two red triangles in red and two blue triangles. One is filled and the other ones aren't filled. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left side. Oh, okay, so we can like interact with stuff by using the item in my hand. When you close the item screen, the last select item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you might trigger a reaction. Okay, try switching out items in and out hand, search different places, press uh huh to quickly change between items. Yeah, but for now I only have that, so let's take a look at this picture. Picture frame. Is there anything with this like no picture frame? There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. Alright, so let's find a screwdriver then. Um, let's take a look at the sink. Doesn't seem to be anything on the sink. There's only the drain in this room. Bulletin board. Yeah, I already searched the bulletin board. Let's see this towel next to the sink. Nothing here. Let's take a look at this. Water just keep pouring through the window. Open the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the wind is gonna stop the water. Yeah, me neither, man. <laughs> don't do that. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Okay, let's figure this out then. There are a lot of screws here, a lot of screws there. This is the pipe. I know. I'll crawl into the pipe. I don't think you can fit in there, though. Yeah, there's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. Alright, uh, let's search this thing. Okay, so there's a red suitcase here. There's a lock on this briefcase. Yeah, it's a briefcase, not a suitcase. It won't budge. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Okay, I need a code. The number on the dial is 0101. That's binary for uh, 1 plus so it's 5, right? Because it's 0, 1, 2, and 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Yeah, it's binary for 5. You know, my computer science degree sometimes comes in handy, you know? <laughs> I guess I'm going to need a key before I can put any numbers. Yeah, that's true. Man. Okay, so we cannot interact with this. You need to put the key in first. Man, I'm vibing to this already. It's actually really really cool let's see what's up with this thing this is the door to the stove this this is stove what the hell i never seen something like that <laughs> well it opens easily enough sure wish the door to get out was here to easy to, that easy to oh here that's the screwdriver yeah what's this it looks red is a screwdriver so we can search the litter i don't think this puzzle is gonna be that hard to be honest like it seems very straightforward for now. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it because I'm literally just searching for everything and like everything is just yeah combining items. So it's literally just a tutorial here. Select combine on the item screen to combine two items. If the two items, oh my god, what what the hell just happened? You will receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations of items you find in your search. Alright, so let's go to the item screen. And I'm gonna combine this with this. Uh, well, the screwdriver got the screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Uh, I guess this gives us, like, the combination? Ah, uh, okay, so we have... But wait, like, the little code that we have is like, there are like two red triangles, but there are then just right after that we have like two blue triangles. But this, like, this, the, the briefcase is red. Hmm. So I think, okay. Probably there will be another suitcase, I mean briefcase, like a blue one. Let's, let's keep searching for now. Uh, calculator? What the heck? Wait, what? No, I'm not trying to save. Get out. Look, there's a calculator. What? There is literally a calculator. What? Why would I need a calculator for? <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm, I'm kind of lost here, man. <laughs> like, 
Oh, yeah, there's literally a blue briefcase. I don't think this is gonna be a hard one. Hope my words don't kill me after. Doesn't matter what I do, this thing won't budge. Guess it's locked. Is this one just like the red briefcase? Yeah, so we need to find the key first and then input the, the little thing. So let's see. I can keep looking till the cows come home and all I'm gonna find here is that pillow. Is there anything else I can use? That pillow, what do you mean with that pillow? I can see the bottom of the ladder. Oh man, the water's already up to the bottom of the pad. No, we gotta hurry this up. Okay, sorry. There's a blue briefcase on top of the bed. Yep, I can see that. He talked about the pillow though. Uh, yeah, there's a pipe at the end of the other end for the bed. There's nothing useful on top. Uh, okay, so let's analyze this. Number five. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Uh, I guess that's a lever, huh? True. Maybe if I pull it... Yeah, looks like pulling the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's too red and the display hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Okay. Figures, we need a card first. Let me search that part first. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, it's the red key. Nice. A small red key. Can we take that? Probably right. Yeah. Huh. Oh, what's up with my face? Not too bad, though. I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... And then the pig from Saw came. That's I'm literally back. gonna be in brain. Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. I don't know why this is reminding me so much of Death Note or Steins Gate. No, I think it's more like Steins Gate. This give I don't know why this gives me such a Steins Gate vibe. Huh? Huh? A breeze. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. That, that's weird. Did I leave Man, it open? At times like this, it should just run as fast as you can. Hmm. Ooh, Everything looks okay. okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Yeah. Literally what I what? said. It's literally the pig guy from Who Saw. Are... <laughs> so he got kidnapped and then brought <laughs> into a ship. I, I can't. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. So it's like something out of a... You are going to participate in the game. Yeah, every time, like, I'm always surprised when I first watched um, Squid Game. Squid Games or Squid Game? Because it actually feels so much like the Danganronpa games. And also now, like, looking at this, is basically the same plot. You know, you get kidnapped, thrown into a remote place, and you have to participate in the game. So it kind of looks like that. I wonder if, like, the show creator ever played one of these games? The okay. Nonary Game. Oh, the Nonary Game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Okay. But why though? Why me? Like why? That guy with the gas mask. Why was I selected? That to son play of a that? bitch no. must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him, that must be like my favorite type of plot. You know, you just get like kidnapped to a random place, and you just have to survive and escape. I love these types well, of I, I guess movies and no games. Know if that was a man or not. Just who Why was would that? I know if that was a man. They said you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? You are going to participate in the Nunnery game. The Nunnery game. Now you will put your life on the line. The Nunnery game. Huh. The Nunnery game. What the hell is a Nunnery game? <laughs> yeah, God what the hell it. is a Nunnery game? <laughs> True, man. What the hell is a Nunnery game? There's nothing left on the mirror. Not even yourself, actually. Are you a vampire, dude? Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, well, I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh. Damn. Nothing here. Okay. Let me try to... Really? Nothing on the bed? Pretty high up there. Let me see here. Okay. Uh, he said something about the pillow, though. I'm just wondering about that. Wait, I'm stupid. It literally zoomed in here. It's got light blue and white stripes. Okay. Okay, let's actually just go for the red thing. Uh, I guess we can use the key here. Let's stick the red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Okay, well, all right. I take that back. I guess I can move the tile now. So it looks like I'm gonna... Oh, no, wait. I was trying to do that. Which, yeah, it's just like insert the right code and then turn the key. Let's give it a shot. Uh, during an escape, your investigation may trigger one of the several minigames. All operations for the minigames are done by using... L and X cross, right? That's the correct name for that. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing. Operation instructions pressing the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Enter four numbers this way and press the key. If the numbers are correct, it'll unlock. Alright, so. Uh, oh, it's not like just ones and zeros, it's like. If I got it first try, that would be insane. <laughs> that would be crazy. So I think we need to find like the other half probably, because... Uh, oh yeah, that's it. Because like this paper only has like red and blue. Um, I mean, we could try to input this code here. But I think the game is probably wanting me to find the other half. I mean, let's just try to input this. But at the same time, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you make a red suitcase and a blue suitcase and then just use the same colors? I guess it doesn't hurt to try, right? So it's 7, uh, 4, uh, 6, and 3. 7, 4, 6, 3. So let's just try this for now. Uh, seven, four, six, three. Oh crap, I skipped it. Seven, four, six, three. Yeah, I don't think that's it. We should probably search the room. Okay, so nothing here. I think I searched everywhere though. So is there anything in this? Like, here. Oh, there's the blue key. Okay. Oh, looks like there is a blue key. No, no, that's not. What okay, that no, that was. It. I thought the hitbox was kind of small. This key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? This key's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? can investigate it, but it's just for this blue suitcase. So yeah, the game is definitely telling us to just find another thing here. Is there anything hidden that I didn't find? I mean, he said something about a pillow. Here are the middle bunk, there's nothing useful here. Like, there was, like, once I selected this and he talked so fondly about a pillow. Was it here? Uh, like... Yeah, but I selected something somewhere and he, he like talked about a pillow. Uh, not, nothing useful. Yeah, that's true. Actually, this one... Wait. Seriously. Okay, that's the other half then. Okay, so this puzzle is just pretty straightforward, like, there's not much to it, it's like, yeah, just find the stuff you need. I wonder if the, like, how hard the next puzzle would be, because that would be cool as heck. Like, imagine 
like imagine like having to actually use the calculator. Wait, what? I was trying to open something and what? What the hell? Does this game have like multiple paths and enemies? Because that's something that always bothered me a little bit about like the Tungaropa games. You don't have many options for endings as far as I like as far as I know. But anyways, let's see the code then. It goes from left to right, so from my notes it's like seven four and then so it's like the other triangle, which is eight, so it's seven four eight and then right square. So seven four eight five seven four eight five seven four eight five Okay, I thought it didn't open, I was gonna like go like what? Yes, I unlocked it. I'm I'm so smart man. I totally didn't just find every item I needed. <laughs> it's opening. Okay, stack of red key cards. These look like key cards. Yes, they look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. Oh, I didn't wait, I didn't analyze it. Because... Yeah, there's not much to it, I think. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Okay, so. Let's just do the. I mean, like the blue briefcase first, because that's probably gonna unlock more stuff. Can I actually look at my items? Oh, I didn't even put, like, the key in here yet. Can I look at my items when I'm inside, like, the minigame? Oh no, it's. Oh no, I cannot. Yeah, I just can't. I have to look at outside the minigame. That adds a little layer of difficulty. Um, so it goes from left to right, so it's like filled square and then not filled triangle, which is 0, 2, and then the other is 0, 2, and then this and that. So it's 0, 2, 6. Three, zero, two, six, three. So zero two six oh crap I skipped it. Six three Okay <laughs> There's always a little bit delay so I'm always wondering if I got it correct. Alright, so let's see if these numbers work. I turn the key and hey it looks like it's working. Yes, alright, let's open it up. Okay, we got a notebook now. Yes, it opens. Looks like there's something in here. Is this a file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press right key to open the file screen. Alright, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Computer digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another, okay? If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. Okay, so that's like, uh, I don't know, like 11 would be like 1 plus 1, which is, oh, okay, that, that's not a great example. Maybe like 99 would be like 9 plus 9, which is 18, and then 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, okay, got it, 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 got it. Okay, um, for instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens. Wait, what? If you have a double digit number, add the number, okay, in the tens place to them. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. Yeah, keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. The final single digit is your digital root. Example, the digital root of 678 would be, so 6 plus 7 is 13, plus 8 would be 21, and then 2 plus 1 is 3, so the digital root with that for, would be 3. Hey, I'm smart, okay? I'm smart, thank you, thank you very much. Therefore, the digital root of 60, uh, 678 is 3. The digital root of 1234 
would be 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 1, and then, I mean, it's 10, but then 1 plus 0 is 1, so that would be 1, yeah, yeah, it's correct. Therefore, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1, I see, I shouldn't be trying so hard to do this. <laughs> I guess that's why they leave a calculator inside the game, that's kind of insane, I never thought I would see that one day, Cal literally a calculator inside a game, that's crazy. So I just keep adding the numbers until I get a single digit number, okay, it looks like there's something on the back of this thing, a notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards, huh. Oh, so we have two stack of key cards, I guess uh, that's gonna give us a two digit thing, cause you have to add like... You have to get like the digital root for one and then for the other one. But I'm not sure where we would like put those two digits because there's a key. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, uh, wait. Because, like, what if we do the digital root of the red cards? Then that will give us a digit. But. Like, we only have one card reader, so I wonder, like, if there's a color that we should use? Let's see. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each cause. Six, seven, eight. Does that mean something? Okay, new material has been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press a left stick to open the calculator stick. Not left stick, left arrow. Oh, the calculator can also calculate a digital root. Man, no, that's 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 just easy mode there. Like, why would you do that? It's not that complicated to do a digital root. But I guess some people will play this and be like, Oh, do you really have to calculate stuff to play the game? No. Be real, man. Which will be important to the progression of the story. New. Alright, so... I can only use like a deck of cards actually, these cards with numbers on them, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them, alright let's slide these cards to see if they work, and... Okay so there's a... Yeah there's a three digits thing, it's not working, why? Damn it! That's right, I still have cards that I haven't used, so let's try the blue ones. I don't think that's gonna work but... Wait! It didn't give us three digits though, it only gave us one this time. There aren't any more cards in here, I've only got one other hint, of course. The files, that file said something about the digital root, the digital root, the digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with it? Uh, there's a five on that door, do I have to get a digital root? Oh! So we have to use a combination that'll give us like a digital root of 5. Okay, I'm gonna think about that later. Not really sure about this. Whatever is just worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of 5 through the reader. Operation instructions. Yeah, to select 3 cards. Resets will reset. Uh, okay, it's just giving me... Uh, Alright, so let us actually not use, because I think if you actually put stuff here, it's gonna... Yeah, let's not use this, let me restart it. Let's actually think about this for a second. So we have to... We have to get to 5, right? So if we do 6 plus 7, that's gonna be 13, and then 13 plus... Like 1 plus 3 is 4. What if, if we add one, that's gonna be like one, six, seven, and then that's gonna be like one plus, it's gonna be 14, and then one plus four is five. I'm so freaking smart, what the hell, man? Wait, let me see if there's another combination, because I feel like I'm cheating right now. <laughs> like, how did I get that literally first try? Could you do like 8 and 7, that's gonna be 15, no, that, that won't work. Can you do 3 and 8, that's gonna be 11, and then plus, no, that's not gonna work. What about 7 and 3, no, what about, 
8 and 1, that's gonna be 9, and then plus 6, that would be... 15, no, that's not correct, yeah, I... Is there any other combination to this that would work? You guys tell me, you guys tell me if there's any other combination, because I... It, it felt like I'm literally shit cheating here, because... It was literally first try, I mean, not literally first try, but I was like... Thinking, oh yeah, 6 plus 7 is... Uh, 13, so that's kind of close to... Like, I, I was actually thinking about 15, I don't know why I, I was thinking about 15, but then literally right after I thought like 1 plus 3 is 4, I just figured, well, just add one more, and it was literally the answer. Uh, so, how do we, okay. I'm so freaking smart, man. Alright, I think this is gonna work, there we go, that's a new noise. Um... Did it just unlock while well, that light was red? No, it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Okay, let's just leave this fucking place. I should have saved the game, though. I'm not sure, like, there are so many paths. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Whoa! What the hell? Ow. Um... I'm kind of scared because like there's so many paths you can like, yeah there's so many paths you can go that I'm kind of like wondering if you have that until dawn thing where you can like literally kill all the characters because I, kn I know there will be like nine characters because that's literally in the steam page of the game and I read the steam page wait is it is it over yeah you won <sighs> That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Yeah, just like a uh, Noah's Ark. Am I in a hallway? Oh. Yeah, of Titanic. A door. Another door. Damn, this water. God. Let me go. Oh, yes. It opened. Okay, so that Wait, was the door on the end of the, the hall. What the hell? Oh. This is the inside of a ship? It's so inspired by Titanic. Like, there's literally a scene between Jack and Rose on this exact scenery. Well. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Oh. Wait, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> a wave? Oh, shit. So the shit. ship's okay, sinking? I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, yeah. sea deck. Like, there wouldn't be a reason for it not to be sinking considering it's literally flooding inside. <laughs> Uncharted 2 type of shit. B deck. Hurry. Hurry. A deck's next. Okay. Oh, there's a number four. What? Oh. People! People! Literal person? A lot of people. Okay, so about four characters and then three, that's uh, seven. And me, with me is eight, so there's one missing. Um. Wait, uh, that character though? Um, that, what the hell? I guess it's another one of us now. Okay. Uh, uh, a dancer? Why is it that, like, every game of this director has to have a character exactly like this? That's kind of funny, man. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, they have animations. That's oh, kind of cool. Oh, well, well. Silver hair? Silver huh? hair. <laughs> one of us, huh? One of us. What? So every one of them also have a watch. Nothing. I figured that would be the case. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? I really need to figure out a way for this microphone to not be in front of the like of the screen. It's not like entirely on the front of the screen, but it's just omitting exactly the text part, like the middle part of the text. I'll try to figure something out for the next videos. But for now, I'll just like when there's something I can see, I'll just look at the other screen. Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta what hurry! What the hell is this character, man? That's nine of us then. Nine? 
I counted eight. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! Cards? They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. That's literally Dungeon Rompa, man. I, I saw a tweet recently that was so funny, like, uh, there's a schizophrenic robot that's like, there's like a... I, I don't remember the meme, but it was so funny, I'm gonna try to search it. Huh? Uh, okay. huh. So that's probably like the tough guy and the scientist guy, right? Uh. Same... Uh. Uh, <laughs> same tropes. Ah. What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Should I put the Didn't game in Japanese? <laughs> the doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Ready now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Okay, so there's four. more four. So... I guess the other guys didn't come from inside the cell. And this one says... Okay, so this is not the same as ourselves. They're the same. Yeah. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? Yeah. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened yeah. it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! I guess we would need to use our watches or something here. Look, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way! I didn't remember this guy's game having curse words like uh I think Dangarompa like only uh Monokomo would swear. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Always a tough guy trying to keep stuff. Also, I love the fact that, like, except for thoughts, this game has uh, dialogue, like, uh, voice acting for all the dialogues. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. Yeah, like, we try not... Look, they can just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked, too. They can but still... Vacant. That's weird. What the hell? Damn it! Oh, he's trying to open it. Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. So that that's the ninth person. It was a girl. She looks like the same as age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he could he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested that she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though as she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner, has, no sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second. Yeah! The quake caught the girl and prepared and Watch she out! Fell. Wait, fall onto my arms! <laughs> Moving on instinct, jumped left to catch her. Always. There's always that moment. Or so he fought. Wait, he actually let her fall. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere interest from yeah. him. He was flat on his back and he had landed squarely on top of him. Uh, she had. <laughs> the girl seemed as confused as he did and her face suggested that he still haven't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seems to stretch for a very long time, they started at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete. A thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my mouth. gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? 
Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Jumpy's head, and suddenly her memory uh, returned. Akane. Akane. Oh, so it's like a, like a, a childhood friend. Yeah. Why hadn't they realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends since childhood. Oh, uh, actually, in childhood, not since childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Oh, that's gonna be the like the the main girl, right? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. That's kind of intense, though. Like, it's so close that your face actually starts heating up for, like, from the other face, or that's just like being blushed. At that moment. Oh crap! Here's the. That's like the villain, right? What? What's that voice? Zero. Oh, wait. Wait. Because cause this game is called the Nonary Games, but it's also called Nine Persons, Nine Doors, Nine... Nine Persons, Nine Doors, and... I forgot the other. Um... But there's also like Zero Escape. I think this game is also called Zero Escape, if I'm not mistaken. So that might be. It. This is. This is. That guy in the gas mask. Hey, Wait, asshole! Did you hear? Oh what yeah, the it's the same this? voice. That's true. Come on out here! I want to get a look at you. <laughs> what do you mean to do to us? Okay. How are you familiar with this game? So basically, Squid Games before Squid Nonary Games. Game. Nonary Game. What the hell's that? <laughs> what is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. So that's just like the little tablet from Dungeon. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. But a more rustic, rustic way. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Terribly reading it to us. On that's this so ship, funny. you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Is this the voice from Ted Mosby? What? That's like that sounded so. Badly like Ted Mosby from like how much your We will call them the numbered doors. That's literally the voice from Ted Mosby. What the hell? The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. Okay, so that's supposed to happen. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Okay. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door? The door will open. Okay. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Uh, alright. So, you have to have at least three people to get the, the di digital root thing. So, maybe, like, if someone dies, we cannot continue the game that's kind of weird oh uh, that's why you yeah that that's probably why you can no but then again what if there are only like two people left all those who enter must leave and all who enter must contribute oh that's kind of crazy so this man. thing on my arm is a bracelet the purpose of the game is simple leave this ship alive it is hidden but an exit can be found I'm curious though, because like in Danganronpa, one only supposedly only one person can live, but I'm wondering if in this game, more than one person can live. Seek a way out, and seek if there's a, a door way that carries a nine. Oh, seek a door that carries a nine. 
Okay, I'm like here. Here it is. My my theory. My theory. Okay, for this part. That girl from Junpei's childhood was literally the ninth person to show up. I'm guessing she also has the number nine. So if this is like Danganronpa, I'm feeling like there will be a moment where where Junpei will go like, What? Were you behind this all along? What the hell? I would never figure that out. But literally like you have to find the ninth door, right? But at the same time, please don't answer me. Please don't 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 leave spoilers in the comments because I'm really really curious to to know like what's gonna happen in this game and don't spoil my my experience. And um, let's just have fun together, seeing things, right? Naturally. So it's not coincidence even for the plot of the game, it's just... Okay. How? If the ship is gonna sink? So it's nine people, nine... Nine doors, nine persons, nine hours, right? The name of the game. So we have like nine persons, nine doors, literally. I hear a bell. Nine hours, that's genius. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. Okay. It's the clock telling us the time. Shit, I'm loving this game so far. Wow, I am immediately hooked on. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? Was this guy just counting that, like casually just counting how many bells, like how many times it rang? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. Not necessarily though, because if you're deep enough. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, so that's going to be a morning escape. <laughs> You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Yeah, bro. Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Ugh. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Mind control. Yeah, I also have many questions. What's the nonary game? What's it for? Uh, you already have that answer. Is he some job just doing this to mess with us? Or yes. Does he have some other purpose? No, he's literally just a nut job. That's it. That's about it. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? That's a good and question. And the others. Why are these eight people here? That's also a good And the most question. confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. I would like to get a, like a, a statistics on this. If you get just nine random people like from the same city, will you get anyone that knows each other? Because that would be a very interesting fact. Why her? Why now? I know this is not the case on the game because it's probably something plot related. But... Coincidence? No. There's no way. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Yep. Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. No, no, that's not what I, I mean. You literally have to do it, otherwise you just think. <laughs> I'm saying let's find another way. And you will go down with this ship. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. Yeah, that's true. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? And this game is really good. I, I'm, I'm feeling the vibes already. I, I am 
like from someone who played all the three main Danganronpa games, I can understand like where this is gonna go, like all the betrayals and all the like people refusing to cooperate and people trying to start a revolution that's gonna be so good. Oh my god, I we should it. see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. T Tech. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Hmm. Damn. The water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. What do you mean? See? The water's not flowing. That's a good that point. That means the origin <laughs> of the water has been stopped. That's it. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. So maybe the ship is not even on the ocean? He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. So, in other words... You're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. <laughs> if we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusion? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're Wait, these suspicious. are regular doors. No numbers on either door, and I don't yeah. see an authentication device either. Nope, it's locked. But that one you can parse through. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind this. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. Sorry guys, I have a, a an OCD that sometimes when in, like the dialogue is kind of slow, I, I automatically press skip. <laughs> I should totally stop doing that. Oh my god. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. It's not gonna work. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, yes, you know. Yes, please. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got no? a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. I mean, like... Yeah. It's a big thing. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. Sorrow. Does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? Looks like sorrow. More doors. Wait, there's an elevator. I think what the they're hell? elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. Inverted triangle. As well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. There's a card reader, though. Maybe the power's not. on. Yeah, not even the power on the card readers. Or on. we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. It looks like a Japanese character, very round. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then, the mark on the other door... How does this girl know this? I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on a deck. Wait. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars... Jupiter, Saturn, I'm not even counting, wait, so Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, there's only like eight, but if you count with Pluto, that's nine, and if you count with the Sun instead of Pluto, that's nine too, so yeah. there's probably something to do with that. I don't remember that. ADEC, huh? Huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There, What's up with the, a the two doors right? next There's... to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved. Mm, She's so right. The on the it looks similar to what different. we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. 
How does this girl know all the of this? The horizontal line know. symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Okay, it makes I sense. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's, it's as if it's covering something up. No, it's literally like the symbol of the earth that she just Perhaps talked about. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Well, maybe we should focus on the Be earth. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all that's, covered. That's so such a dang and rompa detail. In other like, words. We're trapped. All yeah. the exits go nowhere. Man, this is literally Tob Mo to Well, I'm Ted sure Mo's they go somewhere. Voice. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but You're I don't think we should that do thing. that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. No, that's literally what we're supposed to do to win the if game. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. That's also true. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay Man, here. Man, this is giving me such a good vibe. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. I already spent 30 minutes just doing nothing. Uh. Hey, shut up. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. I should, by the way, save the game, right? Sure, let me save the game. Oh, I don't want to return to the title screen. Okay, continue. We need to. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are, who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jump? Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Wow, G. Zero's probably watching us right now. Okay, but, uh, yeah. Agreed. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Although he already probably Hell knows yeah, that, right? We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. How if that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. I mean, he's right, but I don't think that's the Zero case. Zero knows who we are. He could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still just need like to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Is it like that in Danganronpa 2? No, they actually reuse their real names because, I mean, I think the, the whole purpose of, like, the, I mean, the, the whole goal of the Danganronpa series is to actually have the students have their real names, with a few exceptions, of course. Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because his literally number seven? Because yeah. this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be Santa. Maybe the chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. Oh, sun. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? It's the same as Chinese. In Chinese, sun is the number three. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be What's the Lotus connection then? here? As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Lotus flower has eight petals? Which means, what? of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. Am I lost? I think it has like four petals. I oh, would that's appreciate us. it if you would call me Lucky Snake. Ooh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's my bracelet snake number from, is two. From Metal Gear Solid? Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. What? You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I knew it because he was looking at my boobs this whole time. I want to be Clover. You know, four. like a four that's, leaf clover. Good that's luck. That's what I was right? trying to say. That was the thing. Yeah, yeah, I got you, girl. That's, that was a, that, that's exactly right, what I said. Alright, my number's say. five. So I'm gonna be. Mumble number five. So my code name is gonna be. Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Fair point. Then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. <laughs> You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, <laughs> What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? That's a good June? Name. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the six month. So you're yeah, June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. I like the names. So I this like is how everyone the breaks names. down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Snake! Three is Santa. If you're falling here by parachute par parachute, I played all the Metal Gear Solid games. Huge fan. Four is Clover. Five okay. is me. Six Jumpy. is June. June. Seven is seven. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. Eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is June. No, wait. What? what, what, what? I think the scientist guy is too, like. Yeah, My the glasses scientist guy, guy with hair yeah. like a bird's nest. The scientist guy. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? He's sus as fuck, man. Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. What if he's zero? That would be kind of crazy. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's okay, your code name? Nine. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be zero now, everybody would be like, what? Code name? What do you want this us to just call a weirdo. you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Why is this guy so weird? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Exactly. Let me show you. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah. The game started now. That's that's how the game starts. If you get any closer, that's how it starts. I'll cut her open. Oh my god! Uh. Man, why? What a fucking weirdo. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what okay, I tell her yeah. to, I'll let her go. Uh. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. But you need three people to go in, to get in to unlock the door, so that doesn't make any sense. That's not a good strategy. Uh -huh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel. The That's round not gonna part. work, man. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? He's not gonna kill her. If she I could do slit that. your like... throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. Uh, it's basically the same as the cards. We call that round part of the device the scanner panel. 
If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number okay. 10. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Yeah, so the number is five. We can just get the same numbers as I put, right? I think it's six, seven, and one. 13 plus, yeah, it's 14 in total, and it's one plus four, which is five. Door that would five. mean getting June, getting seven, and getting Ace. Like those three characters would be needed to open the door. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? Like, he got nine and four, that's. 9 plus 4 is 13, and 1 plus 3 is 4, so that won't even open the door. You would need Ace in this case. It's like he knows exactly what to do. He's 0. Good. He's Good. 0. You're done. He's not 9, he's 0. Next. That would be crazy if I actually got it correct. You, right? You're Imagine the one on the with last the video I... Bracelet, right? On the, the last video I get back to this one, and I'll be like, wait, I was correct. Yes. I am. Yeah, so, so he's gonna get ace. Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <sighs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. Ace seems like a nice guy. I'm coming guy. over. Now, hope not. verify. Alright, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. 4 plus 1 is 5. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. Only Did 3 to 5 person? people can pass yeah. through one numbered door. I need a third person. One more person. If what Zero said is true, yeah, but like needs one more person. Number 9 can also do that, because it's gonna be 5 plus 9, which is 14, and then it's 5. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! But at the same time, the rules said that, like, uh, what was it? It's like, everyone who puts the code should cooperate. Should cooperate? I think it's also saying that you should enter the room and cooperate. So if this guy is, yeah, I mean, he could drag them with him, but I don't think they would cooperate with him, you okay. know, like... Ah. Wait, uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Yeah, four, I four, already six, figured that out, man. Did you Chill. Yeah, words. I figured that out. <laughs> he's, he's probably just gonna die, because, like... It's too easy. It's not gonna be that easy. I mean, I played all the Dengarumpa games. It's not. It's always not that easy, man. Thank God you were all so cooperative. Yeah, but they need to still be cooperative because if they're not, they're. Um, I don't know what happens. Now, Let's see. I can get out of Probably this, this guy's gonna die. Good. I don't need you anymore. Wait. Oh no, it doesn't get the transparency. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! <laughs> he threw the girl in the door? That's even worse than I thought. I thought he was gonna like enter alone. Oh no, okay, she, he threw her up. Have a good one, guy. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Goodbye! This guy's just gonna die. Let's face it, he's literally just gonna die. Clover! Are you alright? Because... He... Because the rules literally said, like... It should be three to five people to open the door. Okay, he did that. But then, also, those three to five people should... I think it's like you should enter and cooperate. So if they're not doing that, then I don't know. He might as well just die. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's see. Damn it! That bastard! Yeah. It's sad because like number nine is such a good number to make with other numbers like 
you can literally get any number and get the number behind that. For example, if you get 9 plus 2, you have 11, which is 2. If you have 9 plus 4 is 13, which is 4. Like, the number that you use with 9 and get the digital root off will always be the one, like, the digital root. <laughs> Open, damn it! I shouldn't be overthinking this. Shit! Thing. It won't budge. Do you hear something? It would be so funny if this guy actually escaped, like... <laughs> he actually did this evil-ass shit and then actually got away with like, it. Like... What? I don't think that's like the case. some sort of... beeping. Bomb. You're right! I can hear it too! Oh, it's like a beeping in a Danganronpa type of game is always a bomb. What is it? It's a bomb, literally. Why is it stopping? It's God a bomb. Damn it. <laughs> so that's what happens when... Oh! You know what? That beeping must actually be on the watch. So, like, if you don't cooperate... Isn't there something like that in Danganronpa 2? Like, uh, not Danganronpa number 2, actually. 2 in Danganronpa. Because I think if you do something bad, you'll literally explode because there's a device in you. Or is that in another game? I'm not sure. But it would make sense for the watch to explode, like... You... You lied! Lied? wasn't supposed to happen well, there's probably like uh follow the rules otherwise they're just gonna blow up this is wrong yeah it's it's definitely this gonna blow is up wrong. what is happening in there open the door please. hey guys it might it might seem you. like i i already played this game but i swear this is like literally my first time playing it's just that i played too many games from the same director so i am like kind of figuring stuff out i I'm, I'm not sure if it's actually gonna blow up but like i got the first puzzle easily i got uh i, I think i found out about something also before it showed up i'm not sure but like it's just that these tropes are very common on this director's games also in many other games and other tv shows so you know i'm not stupid so i kind of figured those Help things me. out please get me out of here yeah man get you're done you're literally done. Yeah. Ugh, God damn it! Just accept your fate. Uh, can they actually open the door now? I don't Why? So. Why won't it work? So it has to be on vacant for them to be able to open the Engaged? door. Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my God, oh my God. There's no time left. What if instead of blowing up, it's just like walls crushing or like... Spikes. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. That wouldn't make he sense, right? Because who lied to you? Wait, that's kind of weird. I thought he was like just screaming, but actually, someone might have said something to him. That's that's a detail we have to pay attention to. Some someone might have told him to do that. So, hmm, that's weird. It was him. He killed me. It was him. <laughs> Because he was acting all weird before too, right? Yeah, that was a bomb. That was definitely a bomb. A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? So you can like retry the thing? Is, is it like a puzzle thing where you... Or if you don't do it in time, you lose and like your watch will blow up or something like um, that. Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. So like after the guy loses, they can try again, but they they'll need to fit the number five in with the digital root thing. Let's see if we can open it. Oh yeah. Also, uh, there was that number thing that I found out like first try, but that was just luck, I think. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least um, two more people. So five, and, and you can use also, wait, let me think, six and three will get you nine, and then plus five will get you 14. Yeah, that's it. If you get six and three. Man, I swear, I swear, I'm just good at math, guys. I'm literally just good at math. Santa and uh, 
Um, June, Cause I, uh, you think you could give me a hand here? I actually figured out this before, right? I, I was telling you, if you get nine plus any number, you get exactly that number. Wait. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, if you get nine and then the number, the digital root will be that second number that you use. So, like, six plus three is nine. So, yeah, the rules still apply. Mm -hmm. I'm just too three, smart for this game, man. I'm just too smart for this game, you know? This yeah. should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. Okay, let's pull the lever. You guys ready? Just to see. I'm gonna open it. If it's like Danganronpa, I think it'll be like all cleaned up and the puzzle or whatever will be resetted. Um, but I don't know what to expect though, because I know this game's kind of different from Danganronpa. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's pitch black. Good god! So... It's probably not cleaned up. Oh, that's... Pretty bad. Yeah, it's probably not cleaned he, up. He blew yeah. up! <laughs> it figures. Because there's even blood on the inner parts of the, the door. <laughs> Wait, the blood in this game is not... Pink? That's a step up, because blood in Danganronpa was pink. This is not pink, this is very bloody red. June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh, Immediately a fever? Alright, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you alright? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> Making the girl cry now. So it's one 10 hour already? Oh my god, they spent one hour already. That means it's nothing. been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Yeah, it's been one hour and you guys did not. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? Yeah, man, that's it. That's 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 it. We've only he got knows. eight hours until this time limit zero is going on about is up. He knows. Let's get going already. Go, go. Yeah, that's no. Posture. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. So just sync with the him. Shit, you mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood, uh, blood and pieces of flesh. It's disturbing. That's no way for a person to die. Like, how big of an explosive can you even put on a watch? How is the explosion this big? I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. No, he just did not obey the I'm rules. not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Snake! What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, and also you cannot go by yourself because you have to have at least three people to enter the what door. What the fuck? So I'm wondering, like, what? what's inside the door? Like, is it, is it, like... If there's a path beyond that door that you can follow, then those three or five, or three to five people will just go alone, like by themselves, uh, like the, the the five people group, or do they get something else from the door? Please. I think you've mistaken the situation, huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Yeah, it's just the rules. Then he broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. I'm paying too Quite much simple, attention, if man. You think about it. I'm paying too much attention. <gasps> you still don't. <sighs> Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? 
Three to five people should enter and cooperate. He said, he said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? It's not that they can pass. They, it's not that they can pass. It's that they must pass, right? That's what he said. And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. So it actually is that only three to five people can pass. But at the same time, the rest is that those three to five people should cooperate. So, even if you don't go with all of them, they're not going to cooperate together. So, it's kind of the same as saying that three to five people should go in. What did Zero say? Uh, uh, that everyone who verified had to go... Yeah, all those who enter must leave, and all who enter must oh, yeah. contribute. Right? That's what he said. Like... It's not that all of those three to five people, all of blah, blah, blah. blah. It's just all of, all of those who enter must leave and all of those who enter must contribute. I think it was something like that. Wait, so what if you die inside that door? Like, because it has, everyone who enters must leave. So if you die inside the place, then everyone else will die. That's kind of... Not Whatever cool. it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. So I wonder if in this game you can have like multiple endings with different people dying. That would be kind of crazy. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. <laughs> the ninth man, however, broke that rule. Yeah. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? Yeah, it's probably on the watch. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. Card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. Card. This is Braille. What? That's so freaking awesome. That's so cool. That's a, like a very nice touch. Sorry guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? Yeah, that's why the the blind guy paid so much attention to it, because he's literally touching the rules. That's kind of... It's very cool, man. I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. Wait. From Zero? Those are not the rules. A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. So by telling us the information, you're basically I shall tell you of the function yourself. of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red of the dead. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. The red. Beside every number door, you will find a red. A red? The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says once you have passed through the number door. You must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. You. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. So, the bomb is not on the watch, the bomb is actually inside the person. <laughs> that explains the big explosion then. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. I was literally about to say, why just not poop the bomb then? That's In right. other words, you would be unable to report it. I suggest you do not try. Yeah, that would be a little painful, I guess. 
As I mentioned before, the breeze went on your left hand and turned a bit near. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for God in your body. There is only one condition to call it a That yes. condition is that you enter a numbered door. Okay. Once you have done so, the timer will activate no matter who you may be. What the heck? If out of my time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, and split the it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the grid must also verify their numbers at the dead. So the thing that happened was that the guy uh, was the only one probably to, to, to verify the, his number the dead. So other the other two people who signed were expected to do it. So after 81 seconds, only one signature was made. So I'm, I'm just, oh yeah, that's true. Only he blew up because it only activates after you pass the door. So that's why even though they signed it and they did not sign the dead one, they still did not blow up because they didn't pass through the door. Only the guy passed through the door, so only he exploded. That makes sense. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever on its side. And the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the grid will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you can pass through a numbered door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. Okay. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds of pass. So that's also what happened. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You are too well to remember this. I wonder if you can kind of cheat this, like, you can just enter the door, wait like 6 seconds, just to be safe, see what's inside and then jump outside, and you can make a decision, like, you can actually cheat it, but again, you only have 9 hours in total, so there's not much of a point in doing that, I think it's just maybe safer to do it that way. I mean, like, if this is anything like the cube, right? The cube. There's a there's a movie called the cube. Because if you you have to actually test if the room you're going to is safe. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but. Once the basement is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the parasitic wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your basement. If you attempt to force it off, it off when you say go to the mayor, the bomb will... This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's that's saying... Insane. <laughs> that was kind of synchronized. I said, that's insane. And he said, so it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. Mm -hmm. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, mm -hmm. jury, although, and executioner. Although he didn't mention anything about extra people coming in, right? Because, 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 yeah. Because everyone who enters must leave. And everyone who... Answers must cooperate and yeah, what if like only three people sign but five people enter the room? I don't think there's a rule against that, right? Uh, oh, 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 shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What a sentence. 
What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. Stream I'm going to ask Netflix. one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Same. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. Also, guys, I'm not planning to make every video on the series as long as this one, because this is, I mean, like, the first one, and it has all the tutorial part, and also... It's not cool to, like... Uh, finish the video before the game is like set up with all the characters and all the introduction part So that's why this is a little bit longer, but don't expect every video to have like a, a an hour and a half Like it's not gonna be like that probably be like 15 minutes every video. I, I, I'm still not sure how like the The pacing of this game is but I'm wondering if I can do something like between 40 to an hour and then 20 minutes and max um, I'm still gonna see that. You know, like, surprise, or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary! Huh? Oh, so... All of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home hmm. at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. Yeah. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? It's funny, because there's a three-level bunk bed, but at the same time, there's only one person per room. Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Sucks. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room. And you woke up together. Oh yeah, that's true, because Snake cannot do the puzzles, right? So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. What the heck? Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Yeah, I'm well, surprised. Well, yes, but... Why? Uh, there are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you oh, mean crap. between Jumpy and me? Oh, uh, yes. You oh, did say you were childhood friends, it. didn't you? Yeah, we Wait, told you. You went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei. Jun. Does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. <laughs> a millionaire? Yeah. Probably the son? The case. Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. This one was smart. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Yeah. Well, we can't be sure of that. It's like in Squid Games, right? To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? That. It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group? Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Imagine this being just a, like a final, <laughs> final exam for someone in college. And that's... Final paper, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. Like... Oh yeah, this is my final paper for my graduation. Just uh, you know, just trapping nine people in a nine persons in a boat. Yeah, just just not in the boat again. It's a ship. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it a boat. It's funny. I imagine it's like just just doing that as your final paper. That's insane. I mean, come on, a guy's dead. I don't know who the hell this zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Definitely, yeah. Oh no, they already lost another... I thought we were finished with that topic. Hour, two, nothing. Then what should we do? We should talk it through. 
I'm pretty sure that like they're they're just gonna live like three hours to do everything because they're gonna waste so much time. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! Are you really sure you wanna just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. To enter a door. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Yeah. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. <laughs> but... But what? Who's going to go in which door? I mean, you have to have three people at least. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. You don't have nine anymore, but you could maybe use eight and two. That would get ten plus four. That would get yeah. That would that would do the job. Yeah. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. I mean, you could also use five people instead of using three. I don't know. I'm... Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Yeah, it's kind of bad, right? Because... <sighs> and we were doing so well. There's all the rest of the explosion there. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. <laughs> hey, man. I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. Thank you. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? The protagonist, maybe? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. But you have to check the numbers. We though. may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again. Snake later. is number two, right? How do you know and that? The tough guy is number seven, so you get nine. Yeah, you get nine, so so you can do the little trick. Because I do. And and Junpei is number five, so yeah, you can do it. That's not an answer. Three people can. Go. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. But she's number four. So. No, what am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. Yeah, and if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital root will be five. Yeah, but I cannot Seven go. plus two plus four, the digital root of 14. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Yeah. Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? So 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 6 is 17, plus 5 is 22, and then it gets to 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Yeah, we can go into the fourth door. Then we can go into door four. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. Yeah. It just said. Huh. Yeah. That worked out well. Yeah, I think it's smarter to just divide the group because, I mean, you have to do that anyway, so why not just not waste time? And so the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, oh, and Ace. This, they would go I, through door five. I'm feeling it, man. This is going to be a good game. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. Yeah, it's not good. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent? go through door four 
Or should I stop them? Can I choose that? Do I have the power to choose that? Because that's kind of awesome. All right then. If I actually have the power to it choose that. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right? The door's not going anywhere. I. Which door? I can choose that. What the hell? Ah, oh, man, that's 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 hard, man. It's hard to choose that, cause like, I want to see the body as much as that's kind of weird to say. I actually want to see what happens to the guy, but at the same time, I think it would be more wise to go on number four, maybe. Oh crap! What do I do, man? Fuck it! I'm just gonna go on number four. I I mean number five. Should I do that? But I don't think they will be able to go on door 4 without leaving someone behind. Hey, That's wait. Just... I want to go through door 5 too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you! No, you can't. I, I can't take you with me. Why? We're... Oh, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? I want to see that. Well... Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If we are going to add oh, Junpei, you have then we to, must subtract just, five uh, from the rest of us. Crap. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's... Don't go away! You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. Don't be so selfish. Why? I mean, she's trying to take care of you, but you'll be fine. Just relax. Snake. Huh? What did he tell her? Okay, I understand. He said the secret Konami code to her. That's what. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Ah. <sighs> Okay guys, I think this is a good point to stop the video, now that the game is set up, now that we know the characters and all. Um, I'm gonna make a series of this whole game, so stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below if you have any feedback to the quality of the video or I mean the format or anything like that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was fun to watch and see you on the next video, bye bye. I should probably release the next one in uh, if not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, it won't take long, I swear. I'm really curious to play this game, so <laughs> so I also want to see what's next. Let me just actually save the game before I leave. Yeah, let's just save. save here. So let's go back to the main game here. Uh, okay, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. That's the name of the game. <laughs> I was trying to remember that, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video again, guys. Uh, hope you subscribe to my channel so you can follow the next videos. And bye-bye. See you next time. See you.